I'm here with Nina from the Life and Times of the Brothers Hog, who is a drummer in a folk band, not very common. We're here at CFAB in Lincolnshire, and there's been a dearth of drummers at this <laughs> a festival. Dirt. A dearth, a fantastic yeah, word, dearth of word. drummers. But they do have pims and fine cider. Brilliant cider. So it has yeah. been, it's definitely been worth coming. Now, the reason why we're talking to you is because you're not only a drummer, but you played a rather stripped down kit of uh, out of a drum kit you had a <laughs> snare drum snare. and out of a wardrobe <laughs> you had a suit or that off the top of a wardrobe yeah. you had a suitcase it's actually from camden market <laughs> oh now that is cool that is probably cooler than most bass drums you can buy tell us about the kit that you play uh well yeah um just snare i think uh, we're quite a stripped down band yeah. anyway acoustic and we like to be able to get up and go and play anywhere in yeah. the tiniest corners and we like to busk so right. hence just the snare and uh, the suitcase well Darren's got a bit of a thing about suitcases if you see our t-shirts and our album cover it, yeah, it so features it's a, it's heavily a theme. It's, it's a, a bit of a theme it's a bit of a, bit of a motif for a the motif, band yeah and then yeah. um, Darren saw that suitcase at Camden Market thought that would be brilliant because it's quite a nice heavy leather suitcase yeah. quite sturdy so we uh, like to pick up in it stuck an old uh, bass drum pedal on right. and there we go. So, so first most important question, do you carry anything in the suitcase to and from gigs? Yes. What do you carry in it? Uh, well, the bass drum pedal fits yeah. neatly inside and then anything extra of Darren. Right, all right. You know, so you're, you're, it's not necessarily your, you get to play, but it's not necessarily your it's suitcase. It's not my property. Right, right, I understand, <laughs> I understand. Yeah, the, the, I used to play TGS bass as well as snare in, in band and what I found with that was it was an excellent way of party so from busking gig or busking spot to busking spot so yeah. they are excellent. and you've got a pickup you say so you put a pickup on the Darren put the pickup Darren put the pickup Darren's on. brain right yeah so there's a pickup on it so you don't have to worry about engineers like yeah. no no it's just got a jack and put straight in you might know this from the other side though how does because it's something I've struggled with mm. how do you get the bass drum pedal attached to the suitcase because there's not a fitting for it obviously no um basically there's a there's a wooden bit of wood yeah so it presses neatly up against the side of the suitcase yeah. and then it's just really strong elastic it's hooked on oh right put it over that's it always have to carry a doormat or some kind of a bit of carpet yeah put it it's for drift yeah yeah, yeah well drummers drift on cheap <laughs> and even cheap bass drum will drift they all do yeah but yeah. that's especially bad it's yeah far far away so. Right, but no, no actual fitting. You're right. and no. the, the piece of wood is the piece of wood part of the holding the bass drum on, or is that what is, is that part of what gets hit on the? Suitcase? No, it it's just literally helps it sit flush. It's right. attached to the bass drum pedal. Right. Yeah, yes. nailed in. I think. Yes, a tricky, a tricky, a, tr a tricky operation getting a bass drum pedal to, to fit. Right, yeah. so we talked about the bass drum, mm -hmm. uh, which is a suitcase. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> your suitcase is it cardboard, leather? It's leather. Leather. Yeah. Brown. So that gives a nice, a nice. Well, I had a nice cardboard thing. one that I used before, and I've used a plastic one, but I wasn't that impressed with the plastic one. It just had the benefit of it was you could cut loads of really heavy gear about it without yeah. breaking it, but yeah. it didn't sound brilliant. <laughs> and the snare drum. Mm -hmm. What kind of a snare drum is it? It's a, a Chad Smith signature pearl, that particular one. Right. Yes. So I know there's this skiffle thing where it's all kind of homemade and everything's kind of down home. But that's a fairly classy snare, isn't it? Yeah, I think you, you can't really mess about when it comes to your snare drum. No. Now, one of the questions that you, you have to ask drummers, although sometimes it's got to be a bit of a cliche, he sticks. Mm. Now, Terry, one of our people that was filming you earlier, mm. I was asking her some details about the kit. She said you have those tickly things. <laughs> Brushes. Brushes, yeah, yeah. exactly. Which I think, is, I think we should change the name, or we should at least tickly. get a brand yes. that are called Tickly Things. Tickle Brushes. sticks. <laughs> Tickle sticks, yes. And I'm only saying that because I know it's going to embarrass Terry when she sees the video. <laughs> uh, yeah, so what kind of brushes do you use? They're Vic Fair Jazz. Yeah. So jazz are they the, so the proper wire ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah retractable. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever have any problems damaging the wires on the back of yours? I've They're destroyed terrible, them. They're terrible, actually. I bought a brand new pair. Um, we were at Bearded Theory last weekend and um, bought a brand new pair for that weekend. Yeah. Was, almost straight away, they bend. Right. The, if there's a way around it, someone let me know. It just seems to happen. There's the throw out ones that are kind of weighted and there's no back, there's no wire comes out the back and you throw them out. Ah. But then they're either out or they're in. Right. And at some point you go like this and you end up with wire over the floor from what I remember. Yeah. 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 And the plastic, I think the plastic ones throw as well. But I, if you're not a plastic fan, you won't necessarily enjoy it. No, it's, it's not got the same, the same tone that yes. I like. And was it just brushes or do you play with sticks as well? At the moment it's just brushes. We have yeah. been experimenting with mallets and different mm. things over floor toms and things like that, but 
at the minute, uh, the brushes is all, all I need. And so in terms of style, if you've got a full kit, mm. there are like jobs that each drum does. So you, you know, your hi-hat is there to keep your kind of 16th or your, or yeah. your 8th. And you've got a kind of hierarchy of what each instrument does. Mm. How do you go about changing how you play from having a full kit to just having basically a bass drum for the bass, but the rest of it on the snare? On the snare. Well, I mean, that's where the brush is coming for me. I mean, you, you just get so much more uh, accents, I think. and swishy sounds, you know, I could stir the yeah. soup yes. or I can just do your basic 16ths and I think you, you, you can get a lot of variation with a pair of brushes and if you change your brushes as well. Yeah. So head, in that case, have you got a proper textured head then? I see. Yeah, it's coated. Evans uh, power centre. Yes, yeah, I like a nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're going to, if you're going to the worst thing is getting your brushes, go to a jam session, they get the snare and it's got one of those really smooth heads on it. Yes. Yeah, they're no good at all. It's no. got to be nice coated. So you played a kit and you played just a snare just drum on it, snare. pretty much on it. So we're all with yeah. your hands up just playing a snare drum. Yeah. Has that changed the way you think about the drum kit as a whole and the snare just having one drum instead of a set of drums? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, at first it was a lot more pressure. I've yeah. never, I've literally went from playing kit to just snare. Um, I've always been a, a big admirer of the kind of music we play, but I've never attempted to play any of it. Um, so it involved a lot of listening. And, yeah, a lot of bluegrass bands don't actually use snare because obviously you get that. So um, I've got to work quite hard to, to get it out there, get it heard. So, because again, in a, there's a simplicity about people's roles and jobs in a rock band and a pop band. The drums keep the back beat. When you're in something like a bluegrass band or a kind of Americana band where there's lots of powerful rhythms going on, how do you find your place in there? Pick the snare really hard. <laughs> 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 um, I mean, again, it's, it, it's still a work in progress for me, to be honest. Um, I've, only, I've been with the band for nearly two years and then so I still feel like I'm still I'm trying to find new ways of using the snare more creatively. Yeah. Um, I, I don't want to just be the rhythm, I like to yeah. get different tones, yeah. different sounds out of it. Yeah. It's actually a lot, I find it's a lot more creative mm. than using the full kit. Yeah. I, I've got to say I agree with you there and as, a, uh, as somebody who plays percussion and tries to play drums, I think that every kit yeah. drummer should try at some point stripping down their kit and saying I'm going to spend some of my time just getting to know each one of my drums yeah, on its own. Definitely. Yeah. It, it definitely shows you where your faults are and where you need to brush up and yes, skills. Literally no, in your no case. Yes. <laughs> so uh, I think that any drummer should check out bands like the Lifetime of Brothers Hog, but especially your band, where can they find you on the interweb? You can find us on Facebook, uh, it's facebook.com forward slash the life and times of the Brothers Hog. Oh, you've, got quite whole band well, you've got a whole got band name, you've got a whole band name there, that's lucky, yeah. Yeah, uh, we're on Reverb Nation as well, if you just type in our name, we'll appear there. Uh, Twitter, we are at Lifetimes Bro Hog, follow us on Twitter. Uh, I think that's it for now. Brilliant. Yeah. Right. Well, I look forward to seeing you in many more gigs. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.